This is a clinical case study of a 36-year-old male carpenter with advanced bilateral keratoconus. He has worn scleral lenses for several years and suffers from allergies. During a consultation to replace his lenses, he tells you that he's been experiencing increasingly regular and significant discomfort from his lenses in recent weeks. He has to change the interface for his lenses more and more frequently during the day because they keep filming up, which limits how long he can wear them for, causing major functional impairment. It's time to carry out the clinical examination of this patient. During the interview, when you ask him the triaging questions and look for dry eye syndrome risk factors, you obviously identify that he wears scleral lenses. He also has perennial keratoconjunctivitis and known allergies to dust mites and grass pollen. He's experiencing severe functional impairment, with an OSDI score of 40.2 for several weeks. During the eye examination, you find a major difference in visual acuity between when he wears lenses and when he wears glasses, which is often the case for advanced keratoconus patients who use lenses. Intraocular pressure is normal. During the slit lamp examination, you obviously find very advanced keratoconus and you are able to assess the suitability of his scleral lenses. The shape appears to be satisfactory, but you notice excessive filming on the surface of the lens and deposits trapped in the interface. When you evert the upper eyelid, you find several conjunctival papillae. You also note moderate meibomian gland dysfunction along the free margin of the lower eyelid. You ask the patient to take his lenses out. You instill a drop of fluorescin and you identify bilateral superficial punctate keratitis of grade 3 on the Oxford scale, plus a decreased breakup time of 5 seconds in the right eye and 3 seconds in the left. This patient undergoes ocular surface analysis using the lacridiag. Nibut cannot be measured for the left eye due to the cone-shaped deformation, but can be measured on the right where it is altered. Tear meniscus and interferometry are also performed and you note isolated atrophy of several meibomian glands visible in the mybography images. You therefore diagnose the patient with moderate meibomian gland dysfunction that's having a significant impact on the cornea, evidenced by the superficial punctate keratitis. This will increase the risk of infection below the lens, and particularly the risk of scleral lenses filming over in this patient with advanced keratoconosis who is dependent on his lenses. All of this is no doubt aggravated by his pre-existing allergies. In patients who are dependent on their lenses, we often find that the functional discomfort and visual impairment are very significant and have a severe impact on quality of life. First, the patient's contact lens care system is optimised by adding a cleaner and increasing the frequency of protein removal. Eyelid care will be prescribed, plus allergy treatment involving eye cleaning and local antihistamine. To make sure the problem is fully dealt with, you can also prescribe local anti-inflammatory treatment involving a short-term therapy of corticosteroids followed by a low-dose corticosteroid. To encourage this patient's keratitis to regress, he will also be asked to stop wearing his lenses for a few days, which unfortunately could mean time off work. A checkup is scheduled for a few days later. At the checkup a few days later, his symptoms have partially improved but the meibomian gland dysfunction remains, with very thick meibum and keratitis still at grade 3. The decision is therefore taken to begin lacristim IPL treatment, while maintaining the current symptomatic treatment. However, the patient can now be allowed to start wearing his lenses again. The lacristim IPL treatment protocol will comprise three sessions of D0, D15 and D45 with four shots per side per session at a fluence of 8 joules per square centimetre. Mybomian gland expression will also be performed with forceps right at the end of the session. If you don't have forceps like these, you can also do it simply by pressing with your fingers. Three months after his IPL treatment, the patient's symptoms have improved. His OSDI score is much better since it was 40.2 initially and has dropped to 25.4 after three months and his functional impairment has decreased. Crucially, his lenses are more comfortable. Slit lamp examination reveals improved mybum expression and better quality mybum. Ocular surface analysis with lacridiag also shows that his interferometry scores are much improved.
In conclusion, this case clearly illustrates that scleral lenses can be an essential way of managing certain visual impairments linked to the cornea, as we've seen here with keratoconus. Meibomian gland dysfunction can comprise this type of lens, as they are very sensitive to filming over. IPL treatment with lacristim is an effective and valuable alternative treatment for meibomian gland dysfunction.